Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Rujai. Today we are going to learn about the topic of gaining power and influence. Please listen to the PowerPoint presentation and I will come back at the end of the presentation to highlight the key points of the topic. Gaining power and influence. Agenda. Building a strong power base and using influence wisely. Balanced use of power. Strategies for gaining organizational influence. Transforming power into influence. Conclusion. Objective of this chapter is. Understanding the meaning of power and influence, also understanding its significance and applications in practical life. Building a strong power base and using influence wisely. Political competence is a required skill which involves analyzing political situation, organizing people and lead them to get your concepts accepted. To become an effective manager one should know what is right and at the same time he or she should be able to implement those right things. Balanced use of power Crucial element in management is the compelling use of power. Effective leaders make others feel powerful. Using power to help peers and subordinates in accomplishing important tasks increases the influence. Lack of power Powerful people mold their surrounding and powerless people adapt to the circumstances. Lack of power creates incapable, inconsistent and bossy management style. Unbalanced power is not beneficial in long run. Abuse of power Lord Acton states that, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Many managers fails to achieve their career aspirations due to Arrogant nature Betraying others' trust Unable to delegate others and build a team Dependent on others Strategies for gaining organizational power Power is defined as the potential to influence behavior. Power comes from ability to perform. It is important to learn how to use power wisely. Two factors determining individuals' power are Personal attributes Position characteristics Sources of personal power Four sources of power are Expertise Great command and knowledge of work Attraction Charisma, agreeable behavior and physical characteristics to attract Effort Characteristic of completing important work irrespective of bad circumstances gains trust Legitimacy Legitimacy increases acceptance and acceptance is the key to personal influence. Sources of position power Sources of gaining position power are Centrality Acquiring central position to the information flow of functions critical for others' performance. Flexibility Willingness to consider others' judgment. Visibility Work done should be visible to the influential persons in an organization. Relevance Association with activities related to important objectives and issues in the organization. Transforming power into influence An act of achieving others' agreement to provide support and commitment towards your idea. Three R's to transform power into influence are Retribution. Accomplishment of intended task by threatening others. Advantages include, quick and direct action. Disadvantages are, may jeopardize commitment and evoke resistance. Reciprocity, involves bargaining to satisfy objectives of both the parties. Advantages, both parties get benefit. Disadvantage, Expecting negotiation in every request. 
reason, involves persuasion of others by explaining importance of your idea. Advantages, enhances commitment, creativity and initiative. Disadvantage, time consuming. Neutralizing retribution strategies used by others. Using counterpoising power to shift dependence to interdependence. Face the exploiting individual directly. Neutralizing reciprocity strategies used by others. Verify motive behind any gift or favor. Confront the person who is using manipulative bargaining tactics. Neutralizing reason strategies used by others. Explain your anxiety. Stand by your personal rights. Firmly refuse the request. Conclusion To bring desired change gaining power is important. One should use personal power and position power to become successful at work. Power should be used wisely to influence subordinates and gain their support and commitment. It is important to defend yourself from the misuse of power by others. This chapter deals with all important topics of power at workplace. I highly recommend you to study several recognized managers or CEOs like Steve Jobs or Jeff Bezos. So you, you can understand huge impact of personal characteristic of these managers in their companies. For instance, Steve Jobs has been known for a unique and a strong sense of using his power as a CEO of Apple, and he was also known for his vision. He was such a polarizing figure that some of his employees had a strong feeling toward him one way or other. As a matter of fact, he was fired from his own company because of his management style, but he was brought back to the company because of his, because of his vision. All of us with given power react differently. So for managers to be successful, they need to find balance using this power, apply different managerial strategies based on subordinates they are trying to lead. At the same time, it's important to neutralize the impact of abusive power by others to remain effective at work. Thank you for listening to the lecture today. Remember, power can tempt all of us to abuse it. So use your power in any situation wisely in regard to well-being of others. Remember, no one has the limitless time to, to be in power of any situation.